Hey everyone, this is Kenji Lopez all for Serious Eats in the Food Lab, and today I'm gonna to be making a creamy mushroom soup. It's all done on the stove top in a single pot, very easy to do, and way better than anything that's gonna come out of a can. Here's how we do it. Start by washing a couple pounds of mushrooms in a salad spinner under cold water. For this recipe, even slightly discolored mushrooms work just fine. And despite what you may have heard, mushrooms don't really absorb a ton of water when you wash them. Just make sure to spin them dry and they'll brown just fine. Trim off the stems, then slice the mushrooms into approximate quarter inch slices. There's no need to be precise here. It's all gonna get blended up anyway. Next, melt four tablespoons of butter over medium high heat in a large saucepan or Dutch oven until foaming, and then add the mushrooms and season them with salt and pepper. At first, they're gonna release a ton of liquid, but as they cook down, all that liquid is eventually going to reduce until the mushrooms start sizzling and browning. For this soup, we want mushrooms to be browned just around the edges, but still nice and tender in the center. That's what we're looking for. It takes about 12 minutes or so. Next, add a minced onion and stir just until it's softened, about four minutes. And then add a few cloves of minced or pressed fresh garlic, stirring just until it's fragrant, about 30 seconds or so. To help thicken and emulsify our soup, we're using two tablespoons of flour. Stir it in and cook just until it's evenly incorporated, and then add a cup of dry sherry or white wine, scraping up brown bits from the bottom of the pot with a wooden spoon. Once the sherry is reduced by about half, add a cup of milk, followed by five cups of chicken stock or water. If you want to use vegetable stock, make sure to go with homemade. The store-bought stuff is never any good. Now add a bay leaf and a couple sprigs of fresh thyme, give it a stir, and then let the soup simmer for just 20 minutes to let the flavors melt. To finish it off, pick out the bay leaves and the thyme with a pair of tongs, and then puree the soup using an immersion blender or a countertop blender. You can blend it as fine or as coarse as you'd like. Serve the soup with minced fresh herbs and a drizzle of olive oil.